This is the Reflection and Perfection, the number one selection, TRP, and we are live for the undercard of Amir Khan versus Kell Brook. Our next fight is a lot between the prospect, the assassin, Adam Azim, and the journeyman bum, Jordan Ellison. So, let's see, here's the introductions. Six-round lightweight division. He's 13 and 35. That's terrible. He's a bum. <laughs> The ring in the corner. He's a bum. Black and orange, standing five feet ten, and weighing nine stone, twelve pounds. He's weighing nine stone. Five ounces. He is undefeated with two. He's nineteen years old. He's two and zero with one KO. Triple A, the assassin. He wasn't even born yet when Prince Nassim Hamed was fighting. Oh yeah, Hassan's gonna fight another bum later, but this is Adam. All right, six rounds, super lightweight, I guess. Ding, ding, here we go. Oh, look at the speed. That is a very quick jab. Yeah. Not only is he using the left jab, it's quick too. Ooh, nice right cross, but it didn't catch anything. Left jab, left jab. It is quite a good, good performance, but he's a great start. I like what I'm seeing so far. Like Matt said, he's left hand works really sharp, razor sharp. No twitches. Yeah, look at look at look at the speed. And he's and he's got it. Oh Jesus! The other guy's not even gonna land because he's keeping his gloves up the whole time. That's that's a good tragedy. And stunned the crowd with some fantastic trips and a forty play one. Nope. The other guy hasn't even thrown a punch yet. We're halfway through the round. He hasn't even thrown one punch. There we go. Jordan Gill. Good night for Ellison, too. Obviously, not expecting to win, but can he cause Azim any trouble at all and frustrate the youngster from Slough? The point where you win with somebody that's got as, as hands as fast as what Azim has is the minute you walk up, you know you're up and out of a car. And that's what Ellison will be fully aware of. Well, Ellison is just pure defense right now. He is just pure defense. He's just covering up, he's not really throwing anything. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he's very experienced, and, you know, you look at Azim, and he's got really, really fast hands. He changes his jab. He throws it from low, throws it from high. All right, he threw a jab, and, and Azim hit him with it. He's got him in the... Look at that. Three straight jabs, landed nothing but glove. Really is starting to... Ellison, who's just got to... Up and yeah. Oh, big body shot dropped him. Wow. Three, four, five. He's okay. Mm. Want to go? You want to go? Yeah. Ding, ding. End of round one. 
Oh my god, I gotta play that stupid set. <laughs> No, all right, so we we're gonna get a replay. Oh, 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 oh. devastating. Ellison's never gonna last at this rate. All right, here we go. Ding ding, round two. Azim's gonna try to finish him off right now. He's just waiting for an opening. Yeah, that's a, that's what made Mike Tyson so deadly. It wasn't just the power, it was the speed. Oozing the cheese ball. Mm. I like how he's just distracting Ellie's from there, touching the gloves. Oh, the other guy's not even getting a punch in. This could be the best of the lot. It is. Oh, oh, big run power shots. Big power shots. Uh oh, uh oh. He's going for it. He's got him in the corner. Will he do anything? He's going. Oh, nice left hook. Yeah, basically, yeah, it's basically, he's like a turtle with, inside of a shell. There's a question of when he could get inside. Yeah, he keeps going to his left. Make him go to the right. There he goes. Get him. <laughs> there he is, there he is, get him! Oh, big swing and a miss by Ellison. Well, no Olympic part this time. Seventeen seconds left. <laughs> Alice is not doing a damn thing but playing defense. That's okay. We just want to survive. That works. Ding ding, end of the round. All right, commercial. Oh my God, Michael Buffer looks older than dirt. Look at that. He looks older than dirt. All right, ding ding, round three. He cannot wait for this fight. He's seen so many great nights through the history of modern boxing. All right, can he finally put away the guy turtle in the shell or what? Chasing him around a little bit. Yeah, no, it's going the one way. It just needs to step across him, cut that ring off, and force him to move the other way. I think he'll be able to catch him with the left or right hand combination there. Keeps throwing him, but he keeps drifting out of the way. Just not quite in distance with it. But uh, if he cuts the ring off and forces it the other way, he'll, he'll be able to walk him onto it. The punch 
on at this stage of his career, while well, he's fighting guys like this, you know, he's got that blazing hand speed, and he's a nightmare to fight against, a nightmare to survive against. So they're going to go into a shell, and they yeah, so if the guy goes into a shell, how are you going to break the shell? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Surprise! <laughs> Alright, so... Oh, he caught him on the right. Nice right cross. Going with the left jab. Azim just stalking him. How do you get a turtle out of its shell? Come on, Azim, figure it out, will you? Ooh, right there, right in the body. That's why he's staying in his shell. That was a good strategy. No, see, now he's countering. He gets out of the shell and he throws a few punches and gets back in. Stop. Oh! 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 Right hook, left hook just went. He just did a standing backflip. You see that? Oh, wow. One punch. One right, left hook. God damn, can't even say it right. One left hook and down he goes. He can't get up. All he needed was that one shot. Oh my god. That was Tyson like. It was like eh, eh, eh. Wham! Good night. <laughs> and he can't get up. He's not he's not getting up. Look at the ring announcer. He's like, uh <laughs> Wow, that was impressive. That was absolutely impressive. This guy is the future. Yeah, he covered up for the for the right hook to the body, but he's countered it with the left hook to the head, and that was it. Azim is your winner. Now, can you, the other guy get up, please, so we can get the decision? All right, let me pause for now. Here's the replay, and yeah, one left hook down he goes, and he ain't getting up. He covered up, and oh, he what he did was he drove his own. The other guy's own fist into his face. Did you see that? No, look at this. He had his glove up for this for the shot. He basically drove his right hand into his own face. Yeah, it's like. <laughs> look at this. He did a standing backflip. Adam the Assassin Azim. Here's the decision. This lightweight contest came to a halt two minutes and nine seconds into round number three. Becoming a winner by technical knockout, Triple A, the Assassin Adam Azim. All right, the assassin Adam Azim wins by knockout. That was impressive. He fought a guy that was just doing this the whole, and he still found a way to get inside. He he just took a big hammer and cracked the shell. That's all he did. So that so that's going to be your future in the super lightweight division. Adam Azim, nineteen years old now. He's three and zero. He's the future. That about ends this undercard fight. I'll see you for the next one.